person a boot or no? No. Okay. So he's just he's walking fine. No. Uh, I I mean he walked into the training room when I when I saw him he had his he had his ankle in the uh, cold tub which he was doing the the, the contrast so. Um, uh, to be honest with you, I didn't see him walk. I saw him. I had a conversation with him as his foot was was in the the cold pool, and uh, you know he said he had a compression sleeve on last night, and said he woke up and and felt uh, better uh, this morning or better today than he did last night. So uh, that seemed to be a good sign. But you know that that was just us having a conversation. Can go back to Chris for a minute. Um... What would you say the likelihood is of him making that start Tuesday against the Dodgers? And also, how do you balance kind of the cushion you've built and maybe the want to play it safe with the desire to see him get back out there, get into that groove that, that he's capable of being in? Yeah, I, honestly, I'm not comfortable giving a percentage on, on uh, you know, will he make that start or not. Uh, I would feel better with a little bit more time and, and, and talking to the medical staff a little bit more and having him checked out. I think each day is, is – uh, incredibly important he's got to continue to progress and and um you know be be healthy uh, i don't think we're going to be in a position where uh if he's out there and it's questionable and and uh i i don't think we're going to be putting him at risk of a of a possible injury i that that's something i'm confident in that we will not do at the same time uh i don't want to i don't want to cap somebody and and uh or limit them when, when they're capable to go. And I just think like right now is, is probably too early to make a call or a prediction. And then just to, to follow up on a couple other injured guys, you have Hosmer and Pham. They're hopefully going to be back before the postseason. But what would you feel comfortable with in terms of like a number of at-bats or games for them to get to be clicking at their best when you go into that postseason? Well, bearing any setback, um, I feel I feel very confident that these guys are going to be able to have uh, not only some at bats uh, on, on the taxi squad or over at USD. Um, uh, I think we're confident they're going to get some 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 game at bats uh, to finish up the year. Again, bearing any setback, uh, I can't I can't say or 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 maybe praise enough of, of how bad these guys are wanting to get off that DL. Um, you know, I, I just came from the field and Clevenger's throwing a bullpen and Hosmer's out there tracking and Tommy Pham's been doing the same. And, uh, you know, Hos was taking ground balls yesterday, Pham shagging and, you know, they're, they're incredibly motivated and maybe doing uh, uh, what their treatment and what the recommendations are in the uh, training room. And honestly, they're probably multiplying it by two or three and, uh, you know, I, I know the trainers are uh, have their hands full of making sure they don't overdo it. But at, at the same time, uh, these guys are going to do everything in their power to, to get back in there. And, and uh, in, in those two particular, um, I, I think, you know, knowing those guys, they, they, they've earned our confidence to know that they're going to get back in there.